It's a solid showing for a weekly training session for the Jakarta Bintangs. With a membership of around 150, it's one of the expanding AFL clubs in Asia. Since 2010, I think we got a lot more players out who came in week in, week out. Where back in 2010, we probably had a few drop off and a few come. So we get a lot more consistent numbers now now to training, which is a, a good thing. But it's not just expats who have signed up to this team. The club has an enviable membership of 100 local Indonesian players who are all keen to get a grip on the code. It's a game that they're interested in, but it's a tough game to pick up if you're an adult or even a teenager. For a country that aligns itself more with soccer, convincing the locals to sign up was initially a challenging task. But these players have now not only mastered the skills, but they're also coaching others. It's fun and then different to another sport. I, play, I always play basketball, I always play soccer, but footy different. Full body contact, I like it. Boy Basarabu joined the team five years ago. Starting a code from scratch presented a few hurdles, but he read the manual, turned up for training, and is now the coach of Indonesia's Garuda AFL team. So far, very good, very good. And then, uh, look at it, you know, people from Indonesia, like Malu, yeah? Sai, and now, now, no. And then they are learning, learning to speak English. Made up of local players, the team made their international debut this year, touring Australia and playing in the International Cup. It was five years in the planning, with the club raising enough money to send 29 players to the home of AFL. It was the first time many of them have ever been overseas. They've all been training football for anything from five to ten years. And the two and a half week tour was worth the effort. The team not only won a game, but they immersed themselves in the Australian culture and got a new appreciation of the sport. They had a wonderful experience, just a, an eye-opening experience for them, something they'll never forget. Um, that on top of their football experiences. And the rewards from the tour have been shared with the Australian players back in Indonesia. All are now united in their love of the sport, with Grand Final Day the biggest event in the team's sporting calendar. They've all selected their own football teams. Well, obviously those that have the same football team as me, you know, we would obviously have some camaraderie. That's what uh, having relationships is all about, um, interpersonal relationships between cultures. And the Australian players in Jakarta have a newfound respect for their fellow club members, the proving tough competition on the field. Playing against them is completely different. They're so fast and so agile. They get the ball really quickly and then they tackle you very quickly, so you haven't got much time to think about it. So it's really good playing with them, actually. This is good for health, for fitness, good.